cash. Coming up on New Center One today, President Obama is in Paris this morning hoping to convince the world to take a stand on climate change. Tracy Potts is following today's developments from Washington. Then, Labor Ready in Rapid City is hosting a coat drive in hopes of helping people stay warm this winter. How you can help support people in our community who can't afford to supply winter gear for themselves. And we've had a taste of winter this past week with snow and cold temperatures. For anyone venturing outside this winter, it's important to dress properly. New Center One's Erica Horvatine learned some tips for dressing warm this winter, Monday, November 30th, 2015. You're watching New Center One today with Anya Mueller, meteorologist Louis Dorch, and Monica Davis. And good Monday morning, everyone. A live look there, downtown Rapid City. Lewis, I think it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It is beginning <laughs> to look a lot like Christmas. We have that snow on the ground. The trees are lit up. We had that Christmas tree lighting over the weekend. It was a cold, snowy weekend. But hey, you know what? It felt like Christmas out there, right? It did. I mean, the trees look so beautiful. They do. And now, you know what? We can't, we, we, we have to ask on you. You've been gone for a little while. Couple weeks. You're back. I'm Welcome back. back. How is everything going? How, how are you? It's How's the baby good. doing? It's good. I'm healing up nice. And then Maddox is doing good. Good. He's in the NICU and just, I just cannot thank the staff there enough great at staff. regional. Yes. The nurses and doctors, they're so great. And he's doing good. He's on his little CPAP machine good. right now, but okay. um, he, he's getting off a couple times a day, so he's breathing on his own All right. a little bit better, and he's taking in some food, so he's gaining a little weight. He's up good. to two pounds, good. three ounces. So go Maddox. Good, go Maddox, <laughs> definitely. And I understand you have some pictures that we'll be showing a little bit later yes, on as well, huh? I do. All yes. Right. Well, go. Just a sweet little baby. Well, boy. obviously, congratulations to you and Ben. Thank you. Great to hear that <laughs> Maddox is doing well and that you're doing good as well. And I feel like, man, I feel like it's like a long lost friend. Like we haven't talked in so long, right? <laughs> I know, right? We have a lot to talk about. You had I a, do. I feel like I've been gone forever. You had a good Thanksgiving. I did. Good. Yeah, good. made some turkey and all the fixings. Good. Yeah, we had a good Thanksgiving as well. It was cold. It was a little snowy. Now I know many of us were heading off to uh, work and school. We we're done with that long weekend. That's right. We are going to be dealing with some slippery roads. So that's why we have Monica Davis out this morning giving us the latest on what we can expect for that morning commute. Monica, what are you seeing out there? Good morning, guys, and Anya, welcome back. I've really been missing being out in the field, and what do you do? You throw me in the freezing cold, which is just fine, but, I mean, it is cold out here. We saw some really cold temperatures over the weekend, and it looks like they're here to stay, so my biggest advice so far is just make sure that you bundle up getting out that door. Now, let's talk about road conditions really fast. These roads are pretty slushy this morning, and if they aren't slushy, they're snowy. So, of course, what you're going to want to do is leave plenty of space, make sure that you have plenty of stopping distance, and it looks like road crews are out this morning, so that should be very comforting. They're putting some salt down, and I've seen them snow plowing as well. Now, I have seen a couple of people stuck on some hills with their hazards on, so if you have any big hills on your morning commute, make sure that you give a little extra time just to get to work. And for the kids, you're going to make sure that you're going to want to put them in layers this morning. It's just cold. I can't reiterate that enough, obviously. There is snow on the ground. Now, something else to think about is there was some flight delays last night so if you have a flight in the near future I would make sure to just double check that everything is scheduled out but so far you're looking pretty good for the morning people are traveling pretty well as you can see behind me there doesn't seem to be many delays but just a bit of precaution give yourself some extra time this morning Lewis I'm gonna send it back to you and you can let us know what to expect for our weather today and later this week back to you <laughs> all right thank you Monica yeah give yourself some uh, extra time and like she said Bundle those kids up because it is cold. How about those current temperatures right now? We're looking at 15 in Rapid City, 19 in Mount Rushmore, 9 degrees in Custer, 10 in Spearfish. Now factor in those wind chills and many areas seeing, yeah, in the, uh, in the single digits or below 
zero out there. It feels like one in Rapid City. It feels like negative one in Spearfish. Two degrees in Custer, two in Hot Springs, two in Newcastle. And then as we head off to the east, anywhere from the teens to the lower 20s. So yeah, definitely a bitterly cold start to the day. As far as your Monday planner goes, well, it's going to be another cold day around the hills. We'll be at 20 by 9 a.m., 28 by noon, 27 by 3. Winds out of the north, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, we are going to bring in a little bit of snow later on. It looks like most of that snow is going to stay off to the east of us, where places like Pier, Sioux Falls could be in for a major winter storm. So if you have travel plans to head off to the east starting tonight, overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning, well, they could be, uh, there could be some snow factored in there. We'll take a closer look at that here in just a minute. But until then, on you. Well, President Obama is in Paris this morning hoping to convince the world to take a stand on climate change. We're already seeing early morning arrivals as that conference gets underway. Tracy Potts is following today's developments from Washington. What we're seeing here is an outpouring of determination from Parisians to be heard nonetheless. Amid silent protests and clashes with police, <laughs> nearly 150 world leaders are arriving in Paris this morning. President Obama is hoping to convince them to cut greenhouse emissions. There was a moment of silence for the Paris victims, and Mr. Obama met with China's president this morning. The two largest economies in the world and the two largest carbon emitters. Both determined that it is our responsibility to take action. He'll likely face tough opposition back home. It is delusional for President Obama and Hillary Clinton and anyone else to say that climate change is our near-term most severe security threat. I hope while he's talking about climate change in Paris, he's also talking about how can the NATO forces and the U.S. coalition's uh, forces and possibly the Russians work to defeat and destroy ISIS. Potential sticking points include whether big countries like France and the U.S. have a greater responsibility, dealing with oil-rich countries like Saudi Arabia, and who pays to help developing nations clear the air. Plus, island nations want assurance they'll be protected from rising sea levels and storms, things that they can't control. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. Thank you, Tracy. And elsewhere today, the man accused of shooting 12 people inside a Colorado Springs Planned Parenthood clinic will appear in court. Police say Robert Lewis Deer surrendered after an hours-long shooting spree and standoff Friday. Three people were killed, including a University of Colorado, Colorado Springs police officer, and five police officers were hurt. The 57-year-old Deer is currently being held without bond. And as winter temperatures force us to bundle up, a business in town is helping community members to stay warm. How you can help, details ahead. We'll be right back. Checking your new hire forms. You are heterosexual, right? Are you allowed to ask that? No. At Cloud9 Superstore, they treat everyone equally. I need a volunteer to hand out samples of salsa. Amy, this is right up your alley. Because I'm Latina? No, it has nothing to do with race. OK, fine, I'll just uh, pick someone at random. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. The other Latina? What? Superstore, special preview tonight on NBC. And welcome back to News Center One today. A very good Monday morning, everyone. I know many of you are heading back off to work and school this morning after a great uh, maybe four-day weekend, four-day Thanksgiving weekend. Now, take it easy out there because we do have slick roads. So we're going to pull up safe travel here. Here where you see the white and pink lines, all right? That's going to be heading, you know, up on Highway 14, 385. That's you're going to expect uh, slippery spots with uh, snow still on the road. Anywhere with the pink and black, that's 
that's more of the slippery and wet out there. So we are seeing uh, a lot of slippery conditions out there. We had Monica Davis out there this morning seeing that, yeah, there are slick spots. So just give yourself plenty of time as you're heading out the door this morning. As we pull up the radar, here's the big system that's continuing to move up through Nebraska this morning. That's going to track off to our north and east. Now, this is a very strong upper level low that's going to be dropping a lot of snow in the eastern part of the states. Places like uh, Sioux Falls. Later on today, I wouldn't be surprised if they got around 10 inches, maybe even a foot of snow as this continues to track off through parts of South Dakota and then making its way into Minnesota later on today. Now, Rapid City, we will see kind of the back end of this begin swirling around later on this afternoon. So that's going to bring in some light snow showers this afternoon and overnight tonight. We're not expecting a lot of accumulation, maybe anywhere from a half an inch to two inches at most in Rapid City. But as far as the watches and warnings go, here Here's the winter storm warnings off to the east. Winter weather advisories you can expect anywhere from about two to four or three to six inches here in the purple, anywhere from five to ten, maybe even, like I said, a foot of snow there in Sioux Falls. So if you are planning to travel east, Tonight and tomorrow morning, you're definitely going to want to keep an eye on this because your travel will be impacted by the snow that is going to be moving in later on today. As far as the Black Hills area forecast on your Monday, well, here it's going to be cold, right? 25 Custer, 28 Rapid City, 29 in Spearfish. Winds out of the north anywhere from 5 to 10 miles per hour with those afternoon snow showers begin uh, moving in as well. We'll take a closer look as when we can exactly expect these snow showers to kick off along with how much snow we're expecting here in the Black Hills tonight and into tomorrow morning in my full local forecast just after the break. But until then, on you. Thank you, Lewis. And temperatures have been dipping down into the single digits lately here in the Black Hills. And Labor Ready in Rapid City is hosting a coat drive in hopes of helping people stay warm this winter. Staffers say the coat drive began when they witnessed a worker arrive for his shift on a freezing cold day wearing a t-shirt but no coat. Seeing that inspired the company to get involved, helping support people in our community who cannot afford to supply winter gear for themselves. It's really going to help out a lot of people. There's a lot of people out here that are, are really good hearted people and they're just having a bad time in life and, and they need these kinds of, of things to keep warm and to be able to, to be productive. And it would, it would really break my heart if, if we saw like uh, earlier this year, somebody freezing to death in the park or anything like that. So really just trying to avoid that and, and let people stay warm this winter. And donations of all kinds of winter gear are being welcomed right now. You can drop them off at the Labor Ready location on New York Street in Rapid City. And speaking of warm weather gear and dressing properly for the cold, New Center One's Erica Horvatine received some tips for staying warm this winter. Living in the hills provides endless outdoor adventures. Whether you're hitting the slopes, hunting, snowmobiling, or hiking this winter, one thing is vitally important, staying warm. There are many things to consider when dressing for the winter weather. Peggy Wormers from Cabela's gives some tips on what to look for when you are buying winter gear and tells us that these techniques are guaranteed to keep you warmer. When talking about footwear, the type of boot will depend on the activity. Insulation values range to 2,000, and the higher the number, the more insulation it provides for your foot. But the boot isn't the only important part of the footwear. The main thing is not to wear cotton socks, to wear a wicking away. Your wools are great, because even if they get wet, they're going to insulate and keep you nice and warm. They also help to wick away the moisture. So your feet, if you go in and you get wet feet, and the moisture has nowhere to wick to, your feet tend to get cold. And you can, hypothermia can set in, all kinds of stuff. So you do want something that's gonna trap the body heat and wick away the moisture. We've always been taught to layer clothes to stay warm, but simply adding layers will not do the trick. To stay warm and dry for a longer duration, there is a technique to follow. So you need something that's gonna wick away that moisture. Any layering that you do, you start with that, that's gonna wick it away. Then you go to the next loft that's got a little bit of body to it. That's gonna try up more of your body heat. And as long as that outer layer is gonna be windproof, waterproof, breathable, your body heat's trapped inside and keeps you warmer. When picking out the insulating layer, there are many types of insulation in jackets that will do the job, but a new product has hit the shelves. So I'm here with Peg and she's telling me about the new product that will keep you the warmest. It's called Prima Loft. So Peg, what exactly is this? This is a sample of the Prima Loft. Like these jackets here have it in there. It's so light 
That's the one we discussed that's got all those layers. If you lay it in your hand and you just lay it there and hold it, you should start feeling your body heat being trapped right there. It should be very warm. I'm feeling it, definitely. It's like my hand underneath it is just getting so warm. So this is what's in these jackets. These jackets, and it's so lightweight, it's like feather light. You don't even know you have all that insulation, so you don't need the bulk. That's going to keep you warm. Great. Well, this is a great new item to check out. Definitely a great way to stay warm out there in the Black Hills this winter. Follow these tips and cold, wet weather won't get in the way of your outdoor adventures this winter. For News Center One, I'm Erica Horvatine. And it's all about staying warm this morning. And as we go to break, a live look outside. You might want to prepare yourself for some winter driving conditions this morning. Stay with us. We'll be right back. What do Ann Klein, Liz Claiborne, and Ralph Lauren have in common? Goodwill. That's the beauty of our stores. You never know what you'll find, because the merchandise is always changing. In fact, I do all my holiday shopping here. And this time of year, it makes me feel terrific to know that by shopping Goodwill, I'm helping people with barriers get the skills they need to get a job. Black Hills Barbecue would like to invite you to 2060 West Main Street in Rapid City, South Dakota. We smoke our meats low and slow on our smoker right outside. Come on down to Black Hills Barbecue and try our delicious ribs, succulent brisket, our smoked pulled pork, amazing smoked ribeyes, all of our sides, desserts, and our wonderful smoked prime rib on Saturdays. Visit us Sunday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays we're open until 10. Come as a customer, enjoy our staff, and leave us family. family. When computer problems not at your door, call the place you can afford. Affordable Computing Solutions. Don't take matters into your own hands. Bring it down to Affordable Computing Solutions, where we specialize in virus removal and data recovery. Come visit us at 302 East Boulevard North or call 605-343-3747 today. On the go. Affordable Computing Solutions. Oh, yeah the best dealership in the hills. I really appreciate the lack of high pressure sales tactics. Purchasing from Hirschroods was easy. I appreciated the respect they gave me by walking me through all the features of my new car, the service requirements, and the complete warranty. After visiting half a dozen dealerships, we liked you guys the best. They say your best advertising is a happy customer, and after 105 years, we do have a lot of them. Hirschroods is perfect, I-90 and exit 30. Don't drive by, drive in. You're watching News Center One Today. Weather with meteorologist Lewis Storch. And welcome back to News Center One Today. A very good Monday morning, everyone. Wanted to start off with this picture sent in to us by Billy Burton, Master Control Operator. Billy, thank you so much for this picture. Now, what I wanted to show, or uh, what I like about this is you got the big horns, you have the snow. This is around Canyon Lake. Now, I live over near Canyon Lake, and I don't know what it is, but it seems like every time like it snows, it starts to get cold, it brings the big horns down. This is kind of, you can see the fence here. This is near the fish hatchery there by Canyon Lake. So I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe I need to do a little research and find that out. But I love this picture. Billy, thank you so much for sending that in. It is a cold start to the morning. 15 degrees at the Rapid City Regional Airport. Fact in that wind chill, it feels like one degrees outside. How about Spearfish? You're currently at nine. Once again, factor in the wind chill, it feels like negative three. So kids, as you're heading out the door, back to school, parents, make sure you bundle them up because it is a very cold start to the day. Now here's this upper level low. That's going to be kicking off a lot of snow to the east of us. So parts of uh, Sioux Falls and moving into Minnesota, Iowa. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of snow as this continues to track off to the north and to the east. Now what I wanted to show is this is going to move off high pressure moving in behind it clearing out the skies so by midweek we're expanding expecting plenty of sunshine and also much warmer temperatures approaching 50 by Friday we'll look at that in the seven day forecast so let's zoom in just a little bit closer kind of time this out what we can expect here in Rapid City so here's the snow already falling in parts of East River that's going to continue to build in you can see heavy snow 
all around the eastern part of the state through this afternoon at 4 p.m. We can see the back side of this is just beginning to hit the Black Hills at around 4 p.m. As we get into the overnight hours, we're stopping this at 11.30. The snow begins to move in. That's going to stick with us during the uh, overnight hours, early morning, and then slowly begin to clear out by tomorrow afternoon. We can see the back side of that system. So expect those flurries, the snow flurries, to still kick up, at least for the early part on your Tuesday. By later in the day, we'll see the clouds move out. By Wednesday, plenty of sunshine. We're talking about lies, ha highs excuse me, in the lower to mid 40s, even like I said, 50s by Friday. And now, as far as snowfall totals, what can we expect? Well, as we push in through Monday, we're stopping this at 10.30 p.m. It's just saying about five and a half in Sioux Falls. I still, I think that's on the lower side. I think they could get uh, anywhere from about eight to 10 inches of snow there in Sioux Falls. Pierre, we're looking at temperatures, yeah, and the uh, close to eight. Rapid City, just around an inch, so you can see that most of that snow we're expecting to stay off to the east. Zooming in just a little bit closer, we're expecting, hey, anywhere from about three to six out in the prairies, just over five in Dupree and Faith, around an inch in Rapid City. Then a bullseye here in the northern hills in the Lee Deadwood area, you could see anywhere from about three to six inches as well. So as you can see, yeah, some snow moving in. It looks like the most is going to be in the northern hills and off to the east of Rapid City. For today, we're going to see a high of 28 degrees, cloudy and cool with those PM snow showers possible. For tonight, we'll see that low temperature drop down to 17 degrees, winds out of the northwest 5 to 15. Tomorrow, we'll start to warm it up. Still cool though, 34 with those clouds decreasing by the afternoon, making way for a great, great uh, middle to end of the week. 45 Wednesday, 48 Thursday, 53 by Friday. ClickBigDeals.com, the current offer. Get $50 to use at Mind Blown Studio for just $25. This is a big savings of 50% and make a great Christmas present. So go ahead, think of that. On ya. Very true. And if you didn't find what you were looking for on Black Friday, or you think that maybe there is a better deal out there, you may want to log on and join millions who will take their shopping online pointing and clicking their way through Cyber Monday. Amazon is one of the biggest Cyber Monday shopping spots, and Jay Gray has more from the online retailer's New Jersey distribution center. This is what the holiday hustle looks like right now on the floor at Amazon. Teams prepping and packing hundreds of thousands of orders. As standing in line now gives way to ordering online. Shopping is no longer just an in-store experience. We know that many people are shopping online. Many people are also using their phones to buy products. More than ever, according to data which indicates Cyber Monday shoppers this year will spend $3 billion or more, up 12% from last year. A trend, according to a survey from SAS, driven by convenience, value, and the ability to compare prices and search for better deals. Two clicks of a button and you can purchase anything that you want for whoever so, whomever so. Most this year pointing, clicking and spending their money analysts say on electronics, a category that could account for as much as 75% of today's online sales. You can save on those great high ticketed items, appliances, electronics, uh, high end accessories. High tech bargain hunting, that's become a holiday tradition. Jay Gray, NBC News, Robbinsville, New Jersey. And a check on sports news on the way. You're watching News Center One today, and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas out there. We'll be right back. Midco Internet is built for speed, so don't let old software or equipment hold you back. Go to midco.com for easy to follow internet optimization tips. It's how fast internet gets even faster. Midco gives you more. Which one holds more music? That little thing. Which one has better mileage? The minivan. Which one has more THC? The Big one? Marijuana today is 80% more potent than grass in the past. This increase can cause damage to the teenage brain, mental health, and overall function. 
Would you pass the drug test? Find out more at parenttest.org. Hey, at Billion Kia, the holidays are on us. That's right, now we pay your first two payments, plus you get the option for no payments for 90 days. That's no payments until spring. And on top of that, 0% APR financing for 66 months. Or get into the hot new 2016 Kia Forte for just fifteen five. And if your credit's, well, not so good, let our team of elves help you get into the car you deserve. Because this holiday season, we'd love to see you in a Kia. At Billion Kia in Rapid City or at BillionAuto.com for your Black Friday specials. On the biggest shopping weekend of the year, it's Fearless Fisher Furniture's incredible Black Friday weekend sale. This is the weekend bargain hunters wait for. Through Monday only at all three Fisher stores. Black Friday weekend savings of up to 65% off on all furniture, mattresses, appliances, and TVs store-wide. Get a free iPad Air 2 with your furniture purchase. Plus, it's interest-free for five full years. It's the sale of all sales. It's the deal of all deals. Our Black Friday weekend sale ends Monday at all three Fearless Fisher stores in Rapid City. Remember when you needed a TV to watch TV? Now you can watch on your computer, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. TV Everywhere makes it easy, and it's included with Midco Cable. Midco gives you more. And welcome back to New Center One today, everybody. And here's a look at what's happening in the sports headlines this morning, LA Lakers forward Kobe Bryant, a.k.a. the Black Mamba, announced Sunday that this season, his 20th in the NBA would be his last. In a poem entitled Dear Basketball, the 37-year-old wrote, This season is all I have left to give. Bryant was drafted out of high school by the Charlotte Hornets in 1996, but was traded to the Lakers, where the 17-time All-Star helped to win five NBA championships and was named the league's MVP in 2008. I appreciate the really, really tough times as much as I appreciate the great times. And it's important to go through that progression because I think that's where you really learn um, about the self. And so there's nothing I love more than be able to play this entire season, um, to go through all of these tough, tough, tough times, um, to be able to suit up and play on the road and play in these buildings for the last time. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Bryant is the only NBA player to spend 20 straight seasons with just one team, but he has been struggling through the worst season of his career. He currently sits third on the NBA's all-time scoring list behind Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Karl Malone. And a shocker on the gridiron last night, the perfect Patriots are no more. I know all of us in South Dakota were pumped about this. The New England Patriots were one of the only two remaining undefeated teams left in the NFL, and now... The Carolina Panthers stand alone. My boys, Tom Brady and New England lost on the road in overtime to Brock Osweiler in the Denver Broncos 30-24. Osweiler got the huge victory after making just his second start under center for the Broncos in place of the injured Peyton Manning. Aside from losing the game, the Patriots also lost tight end Rob Gronkowski. Ouch. Late in the fourth quarter with a right knee injury. And finally, those of you may be like, Lewis, I got my NFL news. What about my Canadian football news? Got you covered as well. There was a championship battle north of the border in Canada last night. The Edmonton Eskimos of the Canadian Football League defeated the Ottawa Red Blacks to capture their 14th Grey Cup. It was the Red Blacks' first appearance in the Grey Cup since 1981. Congrats to them. For their win, the Edmonton players received $16,000, while the Red Blacks received $8,000. Congrats, Canadian Football League. It's almost 6.30 on your Monday morning. More news and weather on the way. We'll be right back after the short break. Shooter's Woodfire Grill has the perfect gift this holiday season. Stop in and purchase a $25 gift card and get a $5 gift card free for yourself. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas from all of us at Shooter's Woodfire Grill. This is Black Friday. Oh my God. Does anybody want to be part of this? No. Well, Chevy has a better way with Black Friday deals all month long. That's a great idea. What if you could get up to 20% cash back when you bought it? Bam! 20% back? That's awesome. 
awesome. It's Black Friday. Find your tag and get cash back for 20% of the MSRP on select 2015 vehicles in stock. Or get 0% financing for 72 months on 2015 Silverado Light Duty models. See your Heart of the West Chevy dealer today. Get your degree 100% online at National American University's College of Business, Accounting, and Technology. The business world needs professionals. You need flexibility. With 100% online classes, your own laptop, phone, or tablet will offer the kind of flexibility you need to get class time when it fits your busy life. Take advantage of your own technology with National American University's online classes. Enroll today at national.edu. A treasured and timeless classic returns to start your holiday season. The Nutcracker, presented by Black Hills Dance Theater, December 5th and 6th with three performances at the Rushmore Plaza Civic Center. See over 100 dancers beautifully showcase one of the most popular ballets in the world, which has delighted generations. Plan now for an enchanting performance the entire family will enjoy. Tickets are available at the Civic Center box office. Call 394-4111 or 1-800-GOT-MY. Don't miss the magic this year. Shooter's Wood Fire Grill has the perfect gift this holiday season. Stop in and purchase a $25 gift card and get a $5 gift card free for yourself. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas from all of us at Shooter's Wood Fire Grill. a new Center One today. With holiday shopping on the brain for many people, NBC is debuting a new comedy tonight called Superstore. That's the setting for the ensemble comedy which premieres after The Voice. Mark Barger has a preview. Then it's Cyber Monday, but before you log on to those screen buster deals, you should take some precautions. More during consumer news. And despite temperatures in the 20s, kids and adults came out in full force to enjoy the Parade of Lights festivities. Our new Center One team spent the day at the main Street Square getting into the holiday spirit. The recap ahead. Monday, November 30th, 2015. You're watching New Center One today with Anya Mueller, meteorologist Louis Storch, and Monica Davis. And good Monday morning, everyone. A live look outside of the beautiful. Christmas decorations at Wilson Park. Very nice, very nice. Getting in the Christmas spirit. I know the Christmas tree lighting was this past weekend. We'll have more on that coming up here in just a couple of minutes. But Anya, first you are back. <laughs> Welcome back. We are all excited to Thank have you, you back. We're excited that you and Baby Maddox are doing <laughs> well. Also, how's everything been going with you? It's been good. Yeah, good. I feel like I've been gone forever. I know. <laughs> so it it's it's good to be like back. A How long has it been? It's been like what? Two weeks two and two days. days. It yeah. Seems, it seems like I went into the ER that day on that Thursday and woo, not good. Yeah, I had preeclampsia. Okay. So um, that was a bad deal. Um, it's, you know, you, you get high blood pressure mm -hmm. and then my platelets were down and my basically my liver was not functioning how it should be. So then it was time to take baby out. And I actually lasted through the weekend. Okay. So I got some medicine and lasted through the weekend. But yeah, Monday. So it's just two weeks today. Two weeks yes. today. And now you have a little baby Maddox with you as well. And he's doing he's doing good. He's, he's still at the hospital. Yep, he's doing good in the NICU. Okay. And I'm assuming, you know, I'll get to take him out during um, his uh, due date, which is February 1st. Okay. So, so yeah, the nurses and doctors are working on him day and night. They're they're so great there. And look, a little pig. I got to hold yes. him. Yeah. So here, so here's this. And now, yes. now, so you're getting to hold him now and everything as yes. well. Yes. Yep. For about an hour a okay. day. All right. So that's very fun. nice. And is uh, how, how's how's Ben doing? Is Ben Ben a proud dad here? Oh, of course. He got to hold him once too. And and look, he's got his eyes open there. He got to look, take his little at, CPAP thing off for a little while. Look at that little hand. That hand <laughs> is so he tiny. He can grip pretty good too. Now, now what now what is that right there? That um, that's a CPAP. Okay. Yeah, that's to help him breathe. So. You know, he's got to have that for a while, but okay. he's getting off of it a couple times a day, like I said, to help him breathe on his own. And he's taking in some more food, so he's gaining a little more weight. He's two pounds, three ounces now. Not, no. But when you hold him, he's just so tiny. Now, I want to notice, uh, I want to talk about that hair right there. <laughs> I, I mean, what about he that hair? He came out with so much black hair. It's wonderful. And so I, I think that the old wives' tale that you, you, when you have really bad heartburn when uh -huh. you're pregnant, yeah. that your baby has a lot of hair. It's got to be true, because you know how I was. Oh, I know. Like, water, I know how you were. Water gave me heartburn. Yeah, <laughs> so. I know. Well, Anya, congratulations. I'm glad to see everything's going good with Maddox. I'm glad to hear yes. you're doing good. 
Congratulations to you and Ben. Thank I can't you. wait to meet the little guy. I know. I can't wait to bring him home. I know. That's fine. Well, good. Really, congratulations <laughs> to you all. Let's uh, keep talking about, we'll transition from, uh, I know many of you all are heading back to work and school yes. this morning mm -hmm. after a kind of a cold and snowy weekend. And yeah, the roads, they're a little bit icy, a little bit slippery. That's why we have slushy. Monica Davis out this morning giving us the latest updates on road conditions. Monica, what are you seeing out there? Good morning, guys, and Anya, welcome back. We really missed having you in the studio, but I have to say, first day back, you must have really wanted to be back in that chair because you kicked me out in the snow. It is cold, but that's okay. Now, I'm keeping an eye on these road conditions for you. We started out downtown, and we've been driving around a little bit, and this, the roads are looking pretty clear. This is Mount Rushmore Road behind me, and you can see that people are just flying through. The roads are a little bit slushy, and they're pretty snowy on hills, so I have seen a couple of people with their hazards on on hills. So if you have a hill in your new future on your way to your commute, just make sure that you leave a little extra time to get there. So road crews are out. I've seen them plowing. I've seen them putting salt down. So you shouldn't have an issue this morning. But of course, leave a little extra space whenever you're stopping and give yourself a little extra time to get to where you're going this morning. It's cold out here, though. It was cold over the weekend, and those cold temperatures are sticking around. So make sure that you wear a lot of layers. If you have kiddos going to school, make sure that you bundle them up, put them in some layers so that they'll be comfortable. And that's really all I have for you this morning. But, you know, just to recap, give yourself some extra space, bundle up. And if you have a flight in your future, there was a couple of delays last night. So you just want to double check those to make sure that everything is scheduled on time. So, Lewis, it's all up to you. Back to you. Monica, I know how much you love the cold. That's why I did that. That's why you this did. This is coming from the, the girl who has like the heater at her desk. Yeah, on she, all you the come time. in each morning and she has <laughs> it, it's it's the middle of summer and she has a heat she blasting does. on her from under you the desk. You thought I was cold blooded. She really is that, cold. That was good. All the time. That, that was nice of you thinking of Monica there. Absolutely. Let's talk about that bus stop forecast really quick because like. Monica was saying it is cold. Bundle up before you head out the door. We're going to be at 16 degrees by 8 a.m. heading off to school. Just 27 degrees on your way home. And yeah, a few snow showers are possible this afternoon and overnight tonight. However, we are going to start to clear it out and warm it up by the middle of this week. We'll look at that here in just a little bit. And Anya, it is nice because we'll start to warm it up, clear it out. So uh, maybe some good time to get outside and decorate that house. What oh, do you think? Oh, I know. True that. A trend gathering steam this year involves safely and expertly putting up Christmas decorations mm. on the outside of your house. All right. It just might be the nicest gift you give yourself this year. Details from NBC's Chris Clackham. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Clark Griswold clearly demonstrating the hazards and dangers of stringing your own outdoor Christmas lights. Well, catching on for Christmas 2015 are those who'll do the decorating for you, reducing the risk and making homeowners happier for the holidays. It's so beautiful when it's all done. It's so nice and perfect. Hiring someone to hang the lights, garland, wreaths, or whatever has turned into a lucrative venture. Is that, are we wrapping the trunk or? No. Just the tree? Just the tree. Jennifer Everson has just such a company in Charlotte designing, installing, and maintaining throughout the season holiday decorations. Oh, there is nothing more convenient than having somebody else put up your lighting and decor. It's also spawned a whole new industry for those used to working at great heights. Builders, painters, roofers, even firemen, like Jennifer's husband John, are offering their services to hang outside decorations. Obviously, it's not only a safer way to put up your decorations, you also stand a better chance of getting that Pinterest perfect look. After all, social media is where the idea was really launched. Social media has created a broader audience for perfection. Perfection that's evident when the lights and decor are turned on after being hung safely by someone else. Chris Clackham, NBC News. Gotta love National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, though, when Clark goes, you know, crazy no, for the decoration. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I feel like I feel like like social media probably adds to that because it's like the you want to try to outdo the other person. Well, then right? they have like the music with the lights. The yeah, all this, I don't know about that. I think yeah. we, we'll do like the little icicles. <laughs> I like decorating, but uh, we, we don't go like all crazy. No, but I still. Yeah. Decorating for Christmas is still something I love to do, and we're going to be doing it this week. Still and I'm pretty sure Ben does not like to hang lights Aww. in the cold. Poor ben. 
know. All right, Bad. still to come, NBC premieres a new show tonight. Diesel, details ahead. You're watching Diesel One today. We'll be right back. invite you to experience the Black Forest Inn bed and breakfast. Black Forest Inn features seven unique rooms, all with private baths and king or queen beds, including rooms with indoor whirlpool tubs or outdoor hot tubs. Scrumptious breakfast delights are included with your stay, like stuffed French toast, pumpkin pancakes, and much more. Open all year round. Relax at the Black Forest Inn bed and breakfast, where you're treated as a guest, but feel right at home. Better tomorrow, start tonight. Save like never before during the Black Four Day Sale at Denver Mattress. Friday through Monday only, our super comfortable American made nuts and bolts mattress is just $1.99. And for four days, take advantage of seven years no interest and doorbuster specials while supplies last. Quality, service, selection, and value. Why shop anywhere else? Better tomorrow, start tonight at Denver Mattress, America's largest factory direct retailer. He beat me up. That woman is trying to ruin me. It ends now. You would mess with the wrong man. All new Chicago Fire, Tuesday on NBC, and get the NBC app. The holidays don't officially begin until we light the tree. So join Carly Rae Jepsen, James Taylor, Mary J. Blige, Andrea Bocelli, Band of Merrymakers, Andy Grammer, Pentatonix, and more. It's Christmas in Rockefeller Center Live, Wednesday on NBC. You're watching News Center One Today. Weather with meteorologist Lewis Storch. And welcome back to News Center One Today. Good Monday morning, everyone, and it is a cold start to your Monday. 15 in Rapid City, 19 in Sturgis, 12 in Spearfish, 20 at Mount Rush, we're 9 in Custer. Then we're looking at temperatures in the teens to 20s as we head off to the east. Factor in those wind chills, many areas it feels like the single digits even below zero out there. Now we do have some watches and warnings to talk about. All this is to the east of the Black Hills. So winter storm warning here in the pink. Anywhere from about 5 to 10 inches of snow could fall there. Anywhere in the purple, we could see anywhere from 3 to 6 inches of snow. This is all due to a big upper level low that is continuing to spin through Nebraska right now. This is a very strong system, and that's what's going to dump all the snow to the east of us. Now, Rapid City, we're going to see cloudy skies today, and then we're going to start to see some snow build in late this afternoon, overnight tonight. Now, we're not expecting as much accumulation as parts of East River, but we could still see anywhere from a half an inch to two inches in Rapid City, anywhere from three to six in the higher elevations. We'll look at that here in just a little bit. So here's that upper level low. That's going to kick off the heavy snow. By this evening, we can see that that start to wrap into the Black Hills as we push into the overnight hours. You can see quite a bit of snow continues to fall. That'll stick with us overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning with clearing as we get into the afternoon. So this will move off tomorrow afternoon, make you wait for plenty of sunshine as high pressure builds in. We're talking about temperatures in the 40s by midweek, 50s by Friday. We'll look at that in the seven day forecast. So how much snow just are we expecting? Here's a look at the regional snowfall. You can see more of the snow fall to the east. So about six inches of Sioux Falls right now is what this model is predicting. Just over four in Aberdeen, around eight in Pier, just around half an or just over half an inch to an inch in Rapid City is what we can expect. Anywhere from about two to four, maybe even three to six in the highest elevations in the northern hills. Black Hills area forecast on this Monday, 28 Rapid City, 25 Custer, winds out of the north, anywhere from five to ten miles per hour. Tonight, that's when we'll see that light snow begin to fall. 17 degrees will be that overnight low. We'll start to clear it out tomorrow. Still a cool day. 34 degrees for a high on your Tuesday. A little bit breezy with gusts into the mid 20s. The seven day forecast will finally start to clear it out. 45 Wednesday, 48 Thursday, 53 
on Friday. ClickBigDeals.com, the current offer. Get $50 to use at Mind Blown Studios for just $25. This is a big savings of 50% and Anya, maybe a good uh, Christmas gift idea right there. It absolutely is. And with the holiday shopping on the brain for many people, NBC is debuting a new comedy tonight called Superstore. That's the setting for the ensemble comedy, which premieres after The Voice. Mark Barger has a preview. For anyone who survived last week's Black Friday madness, NBC's new comedy about a big box store. Very expensive electronics are pricing out at 25 cents. May not seem like a stretch. Stock up quick! Go, 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 go! Just about anyone and everyone has walked into this environment. America Ferreira plays Amy, a longtime employee at the Cloud9 Superstore. That's your daughter! Someone who's seen just about everything, Ow! working alongside a motley collection of co-workers. It's like when I... It start doing the accent, I cannot stop. She's very smart and has just figured out how to get through her day and get through her work and get through her life in the most practical sense. Why didn't you introduce yourselves? But a new employee upsets Cloud9's I mean, status quo. And I am I'm excited to be here. Ben Feldman plays a pampered guy. Bright, intelligent, and just a complete idiot. Who's forced into retail. I too would like to see how far I can fly. But is determined to find Cloud9's silver lining. He's sort of fresh blood and very kind of idealistic and confident and just new in a way that's annoying to Amy. But in a way that also makes Jonah and the show's other characters potentially very recognizable. Which would drop your price to 22 cents. Stop selling everything! It's the people that you meet and make fun of and fight with and love and hate and but have to ultimately endure. Superstore hopes to strike a bargain with viewers that keeps them Sailed over. coming back. What? Mark Barker. NBC News. Monday on NBC. Superstore gets a one-hour premiere preview tonight at 9 p.m. after The Voice and will air weekly on Monday nights beginning January 4th. That looks so pretty funny. Something to look forward to on it, Monday. That looks funny. <laughs> and still to come on New Center One today, before you scour the internet for those Cyber Monday deals, we have some precautions to look out for. Consumer headlines are next. We'll be right back. Push. Push. Peach or plum? You're right. I'll get them both. Enjoy shopping at Gordman's.com anytime, anywhere. Put the phone down. During Fearless Fisher TVs and Appliances Black Friday Sale, get unbelievable deals on all HD TVs and appliances. Get a sharp 55-inch smart 4K ultra high-definition TV for $7.99, a $300 saving. Or an amount of large capacity washer and dryer for only $2.99 each piece when you buy the pair, a $400 savings on the pair. Or an amount of self-cleaning stainless steel gas or smooth top electric range, now only $3.99, a $300 saving. Plus, get three years no interest financing, but hurry quantities are limited. The Black Friday Sale through Monday at Fearless Fisher TVs and Appliances, now in Fearless Fisher Furniture, West Main, Rapid City. How much does it cost to buy marijuana in Rapid City today? 20 bucks. $25. $50. A hundred bucks? Only a buck. Kids can buy marijuana right now in Rapid City for as little as one to five dollars. If you think your kids aren't doing drugs because they can't afford it, think again. Would you pass the drug test? Find out more at parenttest.org. Welcome to Deadwood's newest and only Las Vegas-style buffet, the Silverado Grand Buffet at Deadwood's Top of the Town Casino. We've started from scratch and spared no expense in offering our guests the best food in Deadwood. Over 80 feet of delicious buffet, made to order live food stations, wood-fired pizza, desserts, and salad bars, and of course, all the crab you can crack and prime rib you can eat on Friday and Saturday nights. Come join me for the best food in town only. Silverado Franklin. And welcome back to News Center One today. Well, as we mentioned, it is Cyber Monday, but before you log on for those screen buster deals, you should take some precautions. First, use a separate credit card for online shopping. That way, if hackers do get your information, the rest of your credit line and bank accounts will be safe. And pay attention to your statements after your purchases for any unusual microcharges. Hackers hope you won't notice a dollar or two missing from your account. And if you're shopping for toys this holiday season, the Consumer Product Safety Commission has three tips to keep children safe. Choose age-appropriate toys by reading the age label on the toy. 
And for kids younger than three, avoid toys with small parts that can be choking hazards. Giving a scooter or other riding toy, be sure the child has a proper sized helmet as well. And be cautious when buying high-powered magnetic sets. They can contain small magnets that are dangerous and should be kept away from children. And there's one kid's toy that's causing some tangles. Frustrated parents have been posting angry comments and photos in Amazon's section about bunchums, which have caused a bunch of problems for kids. Randy Mack explains. Tiny plastic spheres, hopelessly matted in children's hair. These are just some of the many photos posted in Amazon's review section about bunchums, with parents describing how they spent hours struggling to get these playthings untangled while their kids screamed and cried. Dottie Hutchins went through it a few nights ago, soon after grandson Ty and granddaughter Haley started playing with a new set of bunchums she'd bought at a local Target. She said, Grandma, Ty put this toy in my, his toy in my hair and I, I can't get it out, it hurts. Take a close look and you'll see how it can happen. Each bunchum has dozens of tiny hooks. Connect and twist to make sure they are tightly connected. The commercial says that makes them perfect for building soft sculptures, a feature that's earned them a spot on Scientific American's list of top holiday toys. But take a look at what it does when I put a few of them in this wig. They attach almost instantly. And when I go to try to pull them out, when I pull hard, I pull on the hair. You can imagine what it feels like for a child trying to have these removed. She sat there for two hours while we pulled on her hair, basically. She was traumatized. She, <laughs> I know, I feel like this is so silly because it's hair. But she thought she was going to lose her hair. Some kids have. One mom sent us this photo of a clump she had to cut out of her daughter's hair, an experience recounted in other online reviews. The I-Team reached out to Spin Master, which makes bunchums, and received a statement saying, The bunchums packaging and directions clearly state caution, keep away from hair, may become entangled. Apply the conditioner to the areas of hair where your bunchums are stuck. Spin Master also directed us to a video now posted on the Bunchums website support page instructing parents how to use conditioner or oil to remove the toys from hair, which is how Dottie, with help from Haley's panicked mom, finally managed to untangle them. But Dottie thinks if the company knows this can happen, the product shouldn't be on store shelves. I feel like this was very avoidable, very preventable. Did the one that happened to my best friend or anybody else? No more toy, no more toy. Wow, what a hot mess there. Maybe call for some peanut butter for that one. All right, a live look outside as we go to break this Monday morning. We'll be right back. On the biggest shopping weekend of the year, it's Fearless Fisher Furniture's incredible Black Friday weekend sale. This is the weekend bargain hunters wait for. Through Monday only at all three Fisher stores, Black Friday weekend savings of up to 65% off on all furniture, mattresses, appliances, and TVs store-wide. Get a free iPad Air 2 with your furniture purchase. Plus, it's interest-free for five full years. It's the sale of all sales. It's the deal of all deals. Our Black Friday weekend sale ends Monday at all three Fearless Fisher stores in Rapid City. Spend the day in downtown Rapid City this holiday season. Turn your shopping experience into an adventure. Catch a show, visit a gallery, or stop to refuel at one of the many eateries or pubs. From home decor and toys to culinary gifts and fashion, downtown Rapid City has everything on your list. Shop local and spend the day in downtown Rapid City. For a list of shops, restaurants, and downtown gift card participants, visit downtownrapidcity.com. Could have built pyramids. We chose burritos instead. Fresh pressed tortillas. The finest ingredients evenly mixed. Our better built standard is in a league of its own. Fresh salads, tacos, and quesadillas. Panchero's Mexican Grill for those who don't compromise. West Omaha Street, Rapid City. Speed, reliability, performance, quality. Everything you like about your truck, you will like about Quick Lube. 
Stop by and their professional staff will perform a tire rotation, 16-point inspection, chassis lube, and an engine and oil filter change. Plus, receive a free super tunnel car wash. Now offering tire rotations during your oil change. Quick Lube is your no-appointment, one-stop oil change and tire rotation shop. Welcome back. And despite temperatures in the 20s, kids and adults were out in full force on Saturday to take in the Festival of Lights in Rapid City. That's right. The new Center One team spent the day at Main Street Square getting into the holiday spirit. Take a look. We are here at Main Street Square at the holiday celebration. It is a beautiful day outside. We're going to be going on the Zamboni, taking a little drive, cleaning off the ice. At 5 o'clock, we are going to have the tree lighting ceremony come on. It is a beautiful day here, so everyone, take a look. The day kicked off when Santa Claus came to town. Children lined up at Santa's house, sat on his lap, and told him exactly what they were wishing for for Christmas. In just a few years, this has really become the focal point of our community. And community is what this is all about. We come down with our friends and our neighbors and our families, and memories are made here that are going to last a lifetime. These the new Center One team spent the day in Main Street Square at the holiday celebration. Erica and I had an absolute blast putting our skates on from the skate shack and taking to the ice. We ended up being better at ice skating than we expected. We spun around together and attempted a few different tricks. All of the fun led up to the countdown for the main event of the Main Street Square Christmas tree being lit. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, look at there, there you go. After a countdown with Mayor Allender, Main Street Square lit up. I got to meet with Santa and tell him what I was wishing for from the North Pole. Each child that met with Santa got a special little stuffed animal from him. I was so beyond excited when I was given a penguin to keep. Four or five years ago, this was nothing but a parking lot, an ugly parking lot. And to see it now, to see the trees lit, the, uh, the, uh, the Christmas tree, to see these families out here skating, that's what it means to me. It, it just, it, it, it's a gathering place for all of Rapid City. The entire New Center One team had an absolute blast today, getting into the true holiday spirit. For New Center One, I'm Lauren Zenzi. Left. Let's say goodbye to everybody. Merry Christmas Merry from Christmas all of us Happy at New Holiday. Center One. Looks like a great no time there. A little cold, a little snowy, but felt like Christmas out there, on Sure you? did. Yeah, we're going to start to see it warm up, though, with uh, some sunshine moving back into the forecast. We'll take one final look at that seven day after the break. Stay with us. You're watching New Center One today. We'll be right back. I love a gourmet cheeseburger as much as anybody. And that's why we created the Pub Burger at Culver's. My favorite cheeseburger starts with great beef. When you get that burger in your hand and the juices are flowing, you want to devour it. Chef, we're going to make a pepper grinder Pub Burger. I'm stoked, man. We got a little Wisconsin Swiss and yeah. Wisconsin cheddar. Those are the criteria for me. Fresh beef, bacon, Wisconsin cheese. The four peppercorn mayo really sets this burger apart. This is an ultimate bacon cheeseburger. Our new Pepper Grinder Pub Burger. Welcome to Delicious. Christmas sparkles and shines at Weathered Bay. From traditional to contemporary. Unique and eclectic. Weathered Bay has the decor and gifts to make your holidays extraordinary. Shop local, shop small. Shop Weathered Bay this holiday season. We are excited to see you at Rapid City's Meadowbrook Golf Course, now offering 2016 season passes at the 2015 rate through December 31st, 2015. The 18-hole championship course winds around beautiful Rapid Creek with picturesque backdrops and pristine landscaping. Meadowbrook is the perfect place for beginners and experts alike. Meadowbrook Golf Course is the clear local favorite. Don't miss out on the savings for your 2016 season passes by December 31st, 2015. Shopping is easy by phone, online, or just stop in to see us.
Well, the main street square here in Rapid City filled with lights this weekend, but another city might just have a speech. That's right. An Australian man set a world record by illuminating an artificial Christmas tree with more than half a what? million Come lights. On. No, yeah. Guinness World Records confirmed that Dave Richards broke the record for the most lights on an artificial Christmas tree. The old record had been held for five years by Universal Studios Japan. Richards' tree has 518,838 twinkling lights <laughs> on this 72 foot tall steel tree how about that and hoping one light doesn't go out right yeah what ha <laughs> what happens if like that one light goes out and then like the not, whole strand that's goes what out? i'm saying so then like do you have to check like each light like, everyone nope that's not it and and who's nope, looking for these it. records anyway nope, that's not like it. i don't know for, yeah, is that a that's fire job, hazard right? i don't know i don't know no it was on a steel tree so i need like okay. sunglasses to look at that thing <laughs> you would need <laughs> you would need sunglasses for those of you who want to get out and maybe do some outdoor decorating well the weather is going to start to uh shape up a little bit better later on this week tonight though it is going to be cold 17 we'll bring in some snow showers overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning we'll clear it out though starting on wednesday 45 for a high plenty of sun Sunshine 50s by Friday. That's all the time we have this morning. Thank you for joining us on this Monday. That's right. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Until then, have a great day.